Hi everyone, welcome to 30 days of JavaScript lead code. Now here we are going to discuss today a new problem 2715 timeout cancellation. You can check it the previous problems in our playlist of 30 days of JavaScript and here we are going to discuss about timers. JavaScript is a synchronous programming language and it also has something called asynchronous coding which can be done by timers. That means imagine I am scheduling some kind of meetings. After some 5 minutes I want some pop up to come or after some 5 minutes I want you to send the mail. Whenever you click on the button exactly after 2 minutes you will get some kind of animation or you want it getting kind of uh, functions to run after one after another. So every time whenever you wanted a action to trigger after some specific time a function to be called after specific time you will use the timer sir. There are two timers one is set interval and set timeout. Now here we are using set timeout. Let's check the problem description first. Given a function fn having an array of arguments the function is having an array of arguments fn and with the arcs and a timeout t in milliseconds return a cancel function fn cancel fn so this one should return a function named cancel fn cancel fn is a function so i will create a function cancel fn cancel fn is a function but i am not defining anything yet because we didn't read the completely now after a delay of cancel time seconds cancel time milliseconds the returned cancel function cancel fn will be invoked so what they are saying it is imagine you are calling a function to trigger after some 2000 milliseconds and suddenly you want it to stop after a particular time like 2000 milliseconds or 10000 milliseconds imagine so that means in 10 seconds you wanted some mail to come but suddenly after 5 seconds I said it like no I don't want any mail in that case you have to stop the timer which is already set what will happen in the asynchronous coding is the moment you uh, put a set timeout with a function set timeout is a default function which will give her timers if I write it here set timers it works like set timeout which will take it one function a callback function and a time which is t and also arguments it will take it the arguments for the function now after a particular time this function will execute now there is a point here after a particular time this will be added into the event queue the task queue then only it will go to the call stack whenever the call stack is empty by the event loop if you have any doubts with the task queue or the event loop you can check it our previous questions then you will have a clear idea now go here let's understand how it works let's see set timeout which is equals to const here const timer equals to set timeout particular time i'm writing a function which will have fn with dot 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 arcs this is a rest operator and i'm having it after a specific time imagine i'm just calling it here clear interval clear timeout after a specific time timer so what will happen is now this timer timer is got set whenever the set timeout function got executed but this cancel fn this cancel fn is nothing but a function which will clear out this time the t represents the time in seconds let's run it which will execute and which got accepted the reason i'm keeping the cancel fn out of all on the top is because i wanted to execute to be the global one to be accessible throughout the function and for the more you can uh, subscribe to our channel and you can check it on our other uh, problems regarding 30 days of javascript thank you